And of course, I got manipulated. What is this BS? Leave equal highs and dump? What the? What is this? Friday straight butthole. Butthole. You better turn down your volume. Because this is gay. So I'm in light on this setup. All right, so we got these equal highs. We're in this two minute. We just broke this one minute uh, for value gap. I'm gonna keep the stop tight-ish. Gonna TP here. Limit by one. I would realistically like to aim for this low. Stop is going to go to break even. Whenever we hit this low and I don't like how it's not hitting that low right now. Come on, come to daddy. Go to daddy. Go to daddy. Go to daddy. Friday was trash. I'm not gonna lie, I woke up late. We have bearish SMT as well. Because of that, I'm gonna be cinching my stop. I don't like that. I really don't like that. Yeah. I don't really like that. Okay. There we go. Damn. Damn, what is it doing now, bro? I just cinched my stop. All right. Because now we have these slight low resistance liquidity. Relatively equal lows. Now this looks like low resistance liquidity. Yeah. Yep, I'm probably gonna get stopped. Not unless we get SMT. Yes takes out this high. All right. I mean we are still in the inversion. So just realistically, we have this 30 second for value gap. I wanna see hold. It's only thirty dollars, bro. Two contracts, I went in light. TP1 would take care of that, but that would only be if I was right and I didn't get etched. So let's just see if I get stopped here. Hopefully we could just get SMT. That'd be that'd be that'd be good looks. Good looking. All right. Oh my gosh, I got edged. Oh my edge. Just uh break down, break down from now. So confluences overall, I was low-key being bullish, but uh, only if we inverse this and then we, we're chopping. Okay, there you go. I got stopped. Whatever. But yeah, I got a, I was being bullish. Oops. If we inverse this two minute, right? But we just chopped. We left these equal highs. Boom. Swept them. Displays. Boom. Maybe this could have been break even. I just thought this wick was more significant to TP and break even at right and we got so close to it so yeah <laughs> other than that um yeah i saw this kind of looked like we just chopped swept it especially coming down maybe it could have been smoother coming down this just looks like an order block right so um i at least thought we were gonna take this 
And yeah, I was just going to aim for this, but it'd be nice to aim for the four hour because it is unfilled right now. But other than that, this this Friday PA overall is straight dog butt, straight poo poo butt. On a losing streak, my wins are not doing too well right now. At least I'm keeping it small. Usually, I would be doing minis and just keep you know since minis are so leveraged. I'm I'm just waiting waiting till I could just get on a winning streak again. And then I'll hop back on minis or just start leveraging more with micros. This was minis. Because <laughs> like used to have, I feel like we just used to have those trades where it was super volatile. And then boom, it, it'll it'll just go. And like it, it just went to your targets. Like I could show you guys my trading journal. Let's take a peek at that. All right, let's take a look at some random day. Just going to click. Okay. Right here. Pound jolts. No motions. I don't watch. Oh, yeah. Maybe I shouldn't be watching the 15 second time frame. So, what time frame was this? Oh, gosh. Yeah, I remember this. I was trading on such a smaller time frame. Look at this. Minus 15. Oh, yeah. Look, look how many times I used to trade. I took an inversion, and I probably should have went break even. I think I did. Like, I, I just never waited for, like, my point of interest to get hit. I remember, oh, I remember I took this, and I sat through chop, got stopped. I got manipulated, and then it worked. I don't know. Maybe I should have had conviction. Like, the draw was right, just the wrong timing. Okay, I'll, I'll look at one more. I don't want to take up too much of your time. Let's look at a good trade. Oh, I remember this. I think I was funded. Yeah, this was, that's like, super volatile. I entered... I entered as soon as it got inversed, and then this was like already 25 points, so I didn't want to be greedy, right? But I was also kind of scared, like I just like the this was my draw, right? And at the time, like I was doing a funded express, it wasn't like top tops up X, so the max like contracts you could do is like two micros, and I'm not gonna do two micros. So th this was 25 points already, so I TP'd. And I was like, okay, this is solid. Low key, this was my break even point either way, so I would have got stopped, but I there's a re entry, right? So, yeah, but 25 points, so I was like, bro, I'm taking that. It's 500 on the day, right? And then, yeah, I was on winning streak, man. Minus 400, that's normal. Plus, oh yeah, plus 300. I remember I, my uh, trading view didn't work, so I traded on, trade over eight, plus 1000. And then this was the, this was the downfall of everything. Minus a thousand. I lost it right back. I gave it back to the market. I, I could have been done for the week. Taking trades worth losing. Take trades worth losing. Call it day one down. Minus 940. And it just kept going down from there. Plus three. Minus 130. And that's when I lost my account. And that's when I needed to reevaluate. So I started in this. But yeah, um, that's it. I need to post these videos. Dang. I'll see you guys later.